Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. When Willie comes round, you better run for cover, or he's gonna keep you up all night. He's gonna take you out and get you lit and call your brother. Here in the plate, hide in a fan. He'll leave you knocked down, sitting crying for your mother. And when you're on the ground, he'll pick you up and say, Have another boy. You better run for cover. Now, a few of you are probably wondering, where the around. hell did I go crossing the border so soon after they opened the uh, American border up to us Canadians? Well, I did cross into Washington State, and I gotta tell you a little bit about my trip. I pull up to the border crossing to Washington, and there is zero lineup. I am literally the only person there. And the US border enforcement officer was completely chill. Less questions than you normally get. Normally I get questions about 20, 30 seconds. This time was pretty much the same, even shorter. Of course, a couple COVID questions, no checking of the car, no checking of me, pretty much uh, on the honor system, and have a nice time. And off I went across into Washington State. And my next stop was to visit another colleague, friend of mine, and after doing so and enjoying some wonderful American fast food at Bellis Fair in Bellingham, off to the airport I, I went, and I had a $33 flight on Allegiant Airlines. Now, you can't go wrong with a $33 flight, can you? <laughs> of course, there's a few add-ons if you um, want to bring luggage and things like that, or select your own seat. So I boarded that plane and headed south. Now, a few of you got it correct of where I was heading. Obviously, I'm a West Coaster, so... I typically go to the West Coast destinations, and the places you typically see me at are Hawaii, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Palm Springs, you know, unless you see me in Seattle or something like that. But, of course, off I went down to Sin City. Can't go wrong with Sin City, I'm telling you. <laughs> the price is right, and Vegas is open for business. So, you know, the lights of Vegas are beautiful, but I figured today I would walk around Las Vegas and show you how the city really shines during these beautiful sunlit days. Back at home in Vancouver, it's miserable, gray, and raining. Today, the temperature was almost hitting 80 degrees. Beautiful day, blue skies, everybody's happy. Now, let's go through a few of the things that are going on now that uh, the border has opened to Canadians and to the rest of the world, as a matter of fact. You will discover when you come to Vegas that, of course, masks are mandatory, but they're pretty chill about it. So if you're smoking a cigarette or a cigar, or you're eating or drinking, no problem. So if you're sitting there playing your favorite game or gaming slot machine, whatever it is you are doing, hey, if you're enjoying yourself doing something that requires your mouth <laughs> to be unmasked, don't worry about it. And I spent quite a few hours in the casinos already, and everybody was pretty darn chill. Now, I will tell you right up front that quite a few of the clubs are still closed. Quite a few of the food venues are still closed. Not all buffets are open, but I will warn you that low-end buffets, they're generally not worth going to anyway. But I do notice that uh, Bacchanal is open. Some of the higher-end buffets are rocking and rolling. So be mindful that not all of your favorite food options are going to be available. Same with entertainment. Entertainment is coming back slowly, and there's still a lot of acts that have uh, gone back to performing. Uh, a lot of tickets on sale. Prices are fairly reasonable. Same with uh, sporting events. Of course, we, we all know the sporting events have been kind of going on without disruption for quite a while anyway. So a lot of Vegas Knights fans out there on the hockey game nights, good to see that, especially as a Canadian hockey fan myself. Now, while wandering around the streets of Las Vegas, I did notice there was quite a large homeless population. It's always been here. I get it. You know, it's nothing new, but quite a few people displaying severe mental health issues. And I'm not making fun of it because mental health issues are actual health issues. I literally have seen at least 
five different people screaming at the top of their lungs, uh, irrational things that just really didn't make any sense. And you could tell that these people were, you know, indigent and homeless people. So be mindful, be careful, just, just avoid them. If they do talk to you, you know, be polite. Same with, I know it's a lot of street hustlers, but that's par for the course for Vegas. It's always happened. It's been happening for the decades I've been coming down here. You know, uh, the, the, the weird part was, you know, like the showgirls that walk around and they want to take a picture with you so they can solicit a donation from you. Well, by the time they asked me three times in one hour as I'm walking around, the same people, it was a bit much. Even though all I just said was, no, thank you, and that's that, and just kept walking. So, you know, it's pretty much back to usual for Vegas. But, hey, how can you go wrong? The prices aren't bad. The airfares are reasonable. The weather is good. There's actually... Um, I was watching on TV last night that the weather in Vegas is actually slightly above normal, which is great because, let's face it, most people are living in the northern latitudes and they don't live down here in the desert and they want to get a bit of sun. So it's sure nice to get outside with, a, with just a t-shirt on and walk around, enjoy the sun. And I think I got a little bit of a sunburn on my arms. I didn't bother putting sunscreen on, which I <laughs> probably should have. But I'm just out there enjoying life and i'm very thankful to carolyn's rv life that all the crazy things she's done like reporting me to the fbi and having all her followers her friendlies or should i say unfriendlies create problems i just want to say i will not knuckle under to her bullying and harassment her trying to use youtube and law enforcement to make unsubstantiated unlawful claims to defame me is not going to be tolerated and i'm not going to tolerate carolyn doing that to me and ironically i'm in her home state her address is perump nevada very close to me so i guess i'll keep my eye out for her just to be safe and of course i can't even tell you where i'm exactly staying because i know she'll probably arrange to do something very unethical to me so, there you go. I'm enjoying Vegas. I'll be here for a bit, and I will enjoy it. And there's nothing Carolyn's RV Life can do about it. So you put your comments down below, and stay safe, and tell me your thoughts on crossing the border and coming down to Sin City. Hey, they're open for business. A lot of people need the work. They need the jobs. Come on down. Spend your money. Viva Las Vegas, baby. Put your comments down below. In the meantime, stay safe. Keep your wheels in the ground. Over and out. I got you, I got you